Hey guys, we're back today, and uh, I'm bringing on an update to my uh, dinosaur deck profile for uh, the March 2020 format. Uh, so, no further, without further ado, let's just uh, get into it. So, I'm starting off with playing the 2 UCT. Uh, doesn't even need an, introduc an introduction. Um, what this card does is, I can just um, get my camera to focus there. Okay, it's not gonna happen. Well, um, what it does is you can special summon it by banishing two dinosaur monsters you control. Then, um, when this, then uh, you can activate this card's effect to destroy one dinosaur monster in your hand or on field. Book of Moon all cards your opponent controls. Uh, Book of Moon effect. Uh, it'll flip them face down defense, and when this card attacks a defensive position monster, you can activate its effect to send them to the graveyard, and then uh, inflict a thousand damage to your opponent. The damage calculation does go first, but uh, that can be good in some occasions. Next off, I made some changes to the deck, running two Overtex, Qu two Overtex Quatless. Well, what this card does is you can special, you must special summon it by banishing, by shuffling five banished dinosaurs monsters back into the extra, back into the main deck. And uh, then you can special summon this card. What this card does is you can destroy one dinosaur monster in your hand or on field to negate spell or trap. Um, also, uh, you can pop itself to get uh, effect other effect to go off. When this card is sent to the graveyard, you can uh, search a double evolution pill directly from your deck to your hand, which is uh, the main reason we have it in here. Uh, that way we can uh, get search that double evo pill. Yeah, just. It's like our, it's like a budget Archosaur in a way. Next off, we have the one Dinosaur Pinkertops. Special summon it if you control, if your opponent controls more monsters than you do. Then um, activate it's a quick, it's a quick effect to uh, pop, to tribute itself and pop one monster your opponent controls. Yeah, and uh, next off we got three Miscellaneous Source. What this card does is uh, when you send, when you activate its effect. You can send it from your hand to the graveyard, then um, negate, then your opponent, then for this main phase, your opponent cannot do anything to your dinosaur monsters. They are unaffected by your activate, by your opponent's activated effects. So yeah, pretty good. Then you can banish this card in any number of dinosaur monsters from your uh, graveyard, special when a dinosaur monster from your deck equal to the level of dinosaurs banished. A lot of people will ask me uh, if I can special summon a level 8 by banishing this in the Overaptor. Uh, no, you cannot. Uh, you, you must special, like if it was just miscellaneous source, it can only be a level one. If it was miscellaneous source and over after only, it would be have to be a level two. So that's what I, that's what people have been asking me, and they got confused. Yeah, but uh, it's real, still a really good card. Uh, speaking of over after, next off, we play three copies of over after. What this card does is when it's normal or special summoned, you can uh, send or add a dinosaur monster from your uh, deck to the. You can send a dinosaur monster from your deck to the graveyard, or add a dinosaur from your deck to hand. Uh, then you can pop one level four dinosaur monster, level four or lower dinosaur on field, which it could be on your opponent's side of the field or on your side of the field, to then um, special summon a dinosaur monster from your graveyard of any level. So yeah, really good for bringing out UCT from grave and all that stuff. Next off for the babies to play two baby Ceratosaurus. And two petite pteranodon. What these do is, uh, when when they are destroyed by card effects, this one can special summon a level four or higher. However, won't be able to attack this turn. This one can special summon a level four or lower, but it can attack this turn. So yeah, they're really good cards. Uh, both have their advantages and disadvantages. Next off, one Tyrant of Infinity wins games. Has a thousand attack for every banished dinosaur monster. So yeah, it just breaks boards, honestly. Next off, one giant Rex just uh, specials itself from the banish pile, and uh, this is another reason I have that uh, Overtex coatless because when you banish this twice from your graveyard, when well when you banish this twice in general, you won't be able to get it back the second time. Well, only if it's uh, banished in the same turn, honestly. Then uh, you won't be able to get it back. Uh, but if you have Overtex, you can shuffle this back as some other dinosaurs. You'll be able to well get recycle this, honestly. From your deck. It comes up very rarely, but it helps. Next off, for the hand traps, play uh, three Ash Blossom. Negates uh, add from the deck, special from the deck, or uh, a s or something else. What's uh, ascend from the deck? A foolish burial. 
such. Sorry about that. Next off, three Nibiru. When your opponent's special normals or special summons five or more times during the main phase, uh, you can activate this card's effect to tribute all the monsters. Give them a to, to special this, then give them a Nibiru token, whose uh, attack and defense is the combined total attack and defense of this opponent of this card. Really good for uh, that pink if you have that pink tops in hand too. Uh, moving on to the spells, we have three Lost World. Uh, when a dinosaur monster is summoned, okay. When a dinosaur monster is summoned, you uh, special summon a token to your opponent's side of the field. Then, um, uh, as soon as, as long as they control that token, as long as they control a token, they cannot target other cards on the field card effects for as long as they control that token. Uh, then if the to if a normal monster will be destroyed by a battle or card effect, you can uh, destroy one dinosaur monster from your deck to save this card to save that token. So yeah, pretty good there. Uh, next off. Next off, we got the three fossil dig. Uh, what this card does is uh, add one level six or lower dinosaur monster from your deck to your hand. Pretty broken for getting that UCT or Oberaptor. Next off, we got two double evolution pill. Uh, what this card does is banish one dinosaur non dinosaur from your hand or and or graveyard. Special summon a level seven or higher dinosaur monster from your deck. So pretty good. Now finally, the card I have always, the card I've been trying to get for so long to make this deck profile possible. I've been trying to get two more Pot of Extravagance for so long now, I finally got my final two copies. Yeah. Uh, so Pot of Extravagance, banish three or six dinosaurs, I'm saying banish three or six cards from your extra deck that are random, and then um, you can draw a card for every three banished. Sorry, I did not mean to say dinosaurs, I'm really not on my game today, uh. I just had a cold. I'm really sorry, guys, but I'm just trying my best here. Next off, we got a uh, three Dark Ruler no more. Uh, three Dark Ruler no more. Uh, what this card does is negate negates all effects of monsters that are currently face up on the field. But uh, your opponent will take no battle damage to turn you activate this card. Apparently, it's just good for like uh, baiting those ne baiting that uh, Boral Sword negate, or maybe just trying to clear your opponent's board. Last but not least, we have play three infinite impermanence. Um, this card here, uh, it's technically an effect veiler. It, okay, what this card is, does is it negates one, it target one face-up card on the field, negates effects for the rest of the turn, and well, if this if you control no cards, you can activate it from hand, and uh, well, if you set this card before activating, all spell and traps in the same column get negated. So, moving on to the extra deck, uh, we play the two Dolka and the two Lagia. What this does is it's a special. What the Lagia does is uh, it is a summon negate and a spell and trap negate. What a Dolka does is it's a monster negate and it's not once per turn, so that's really cool. Uh, next off, we play the one Dweller, one Tornado Dragon, the one Honor Arc. And lastly, and uh, lastly, the one Emeril. So yeah, what Emeril does is uh, you can shuffle three monsters from your graveyard into the deck when you detach material from this card, then draw a card, or you can special summon one normal monster from your uh, graveyard. Honor arc, detach two material, attack target one monster your opponent controls, and then uh, you can attach it to that card's material. So good for. Getting rid of things like um, Unchained Abomination and such. Uh, Tornado Dragon, Spell and Trap Removal, Abyss Dweller, Graveyard Effect. Set, just says no to Graveyard. Next off, we got one Boral Sword, one Opelousa. Opelousa as an Omni, Opelousa as a uh, Negate. Boral Sword to clear boards. Next off, we play one Unchained Abomination and uh, one of the Sarge of Skuldred. Sarge's Skull Dread is great for getting combo pieces and specialing. Unchained Abomination. It just hurts your opponent badly. Yeah. Uh, sorry about that. Next off, we play one Unicorn and two Phoenix. The reason I'm playing a second Nightmare Phoenix is only for the sole fact I want 15 cards in my extra deck. And uh, I can actually use this card rather than playing something like Link Karibo, which I can't even use yet. 
So yeah, the reason for the two Phoenix is because I want to keep it at 15 cards in the extra deck for my pot of extravagance. So uh, yeah, Phoenix is a spawn trap removal. Uh, Nightmare Unicorn is a shuff shuffles one card from your shuffles one card your opponent controls back into the deck, uh, which is really cool. Next off to my side deck, um, I got three Lancia, really good for uh, those Tri Brigade and other kind of decks too. Uh, it just says no, so that's awesome right there. Next off, we got a uh, two Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. It, uh, it doesn't say no to particularly anything. Uh, let's see the effect go through. Just the monster activating the effect is destroyed after this card resolves. So uh, that actually can help a lot quite a bit. Next off, we got uh, Effect Veiler. It just says no to monster effects. Pretty good card. Next off, some of you guys might hate me for this, but uh, some of you might not. We play three Skullmeister in the side deck. It says no to graveyard effects. Uh, but it's still pretty good. I am currently looking for two super rare copies Two more super rare copies. I only got two commons and a super rare, but uh, that's that uh, Next off we got three cosmic cyclone uh, Cosmic cyclone just target one spell card on the field banish it and lose a thousand life points, so that's pretty good Next off we got one red reboot uh, the reason I run this card is uh, for trap negates, honestly. I just play it. It's a good card, guys. It uh, doesn't even need an explanation, but um, that's actually going to round out for the deck profile. Hope you guys enjoyed. See, uh, I hope you guys like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys next time, hopefully.